What's going on folks? It's Alex here. I hope you are well. In DaVinci Resolve Studio 20, they added the functionality to kind of find the silent portions in the Fairlight page on your timeline, but it didn't quite do what everyone wanted it to do. In DaVinci Resolve 20.2, there is now a proper way to ripple delete the silent portions on a clip which just means once you've started a project, you can dump your clip on the timeline and immediately get rid of all of the silent portions, which just saves you a bunch of time. And I immediately thought this was only available within the studio version, but it's not. I'm here to let you know it is available in both the free and studio versions of DaVinci Resolve 20.2. So let's open up the free version and I'll show you how it works. It's dead simple, but I do have some quick tricks to show you. So I've got my kind of main A roll here, which I've just dumped straight on the timeline. And as you can see, there are some big gaps. So if we simply give it a click on the timeline, come up to the very top little toolbar and click on clip, come down to audio operations. There is a new ripple delete silence. Give that a click and this little window will appear. Now this is a nice friendly window because you can put this where you like and still move around your timeline. So if you have a look at your clip, you've got these red sections. This is showing the red portions, which it's going to delete. And as you customize these settings, you will see these change. So first up, the threshold. How quiet do we want our silence to be? So if I was to bring this right the way up, all of my kind of audio is below 10 decibels, so it thinks everything is a silent portion. So you just wanna bring this down so you're only picking up those silent sections. So I'm gonna go with something like that. Again, remember you can whiz through your timeline. I'm just clicking my middle mouse button and scrolling through so I can have a little look at the sections. I'm picking up some that I do actually want, so let's lower this a bit more. That looks about right. And then we've got pre-head. Zoom into this one here. You've got the tail at the end and the head at the beginning. So if I bring in this pre-head, it's just gonna adjust this to give us kind of this little gap at the end of our silence before our dialogue comes back in. So we can adjust that accordingly. I like mine nice and tight. So I'm gonna go with one frame there-ish. And then we've got the post tail. So this is the same, but at the other end. After we've finished talking, how many frames do we keep before we actually recognize the silence? So I'm gonna actually bring this up just a little bit like so. And then we've got the minimum frames to strip. So if I bring this all the way down to two, you can see we've got loads of these little sections. So this could be where I simply took a breath or a slight little pause or something along those lines, and I may actually want those. So this is saying, if the section you found is less than five frames, don't actually make it a silent section. So we can bring this right the way up, or leave it down, I'm gonna go with about eight. And as you can see, it's just picked up all of these silent portions. We can then choose whether we want to crossfade the audio once it's deleted or not. I'm gonna leave it as it is, and then we simply hit remove, and it's gonna chop up our clip, removing all of those silences, so we've just got all of our talking sections like this, and then we can just go through and start editing it. Now, once it's done, it's kind of done. You can't really go and then tweak any of the individual settings. You could undo and then redo it if it has got things a little bit wrong. But if it's got it mostly right, but there are just a few edit points that need tweaking, one of the easiest ways to do this is using trim edit mode. Now, trim edit mode has been in Resolve for ages. It's really useful, but it can be missed because it's not the default option. So let me show you super quick why it's useful. So in this example here, it's cut this one just a bit too short. You can see it's cut off my little speech and I need to extend this clip without messing everything up. The default behavior is obviously this. So what you can do is click on this icon here or click on T to enable your trim edit mode. Then what you can do, put your cursor, your mouse, just to the left of the edit point so you get this little icon here. Then if you click and drag, you can extend this clip without cutting into the other one. What it's actually doing, if we zoom out, is moving everything over to the right-hand side. So you can just come in and tweak that as you need to. It also works the other way, come to the other side of the edit point, and we can roll this forwards or back, and as you can see, it's rippling the entire timeline. Then you just click on this icon, or click the A key to get back to your default selection mode. Now, sometimes you may want to do this across an entire timeline. Technically, you can't just by clicking on the clip. 
but you can do it if you turn everything into a compound clip. So here we've got a bunch of different clips. All you need to do, highlight them all. So I've just clicked and dragged, so they're all highlighted in red. They're all selected just like this. Then right click, come to the very top, new compound clip, give that a click, give it a name if you want to, and that'll put all of those clips together into this compound clip. But then if we give this a click, go to clip once again, come down, audio operations, ripple, delete, silent, we can then do the entire thing once again over all of these clips because we've combined them together into one box, into one compound clip. So then I'm just gonna hit remove really quick. That's gone through, deleted all of the silent sections from all of those clips. So now we've got this. Now all of these are still compound clips. So if I just select everything, right click on any one of them, there is an option to decompose in place using clips only. But now each one is its original source clip rather than the compound clip. Super handy once again. Now, if you're doing this a lot, you may want to assign a keyboard shortcut, which is what I've done. So you can really quickly hit your keyboard shortcut to get the little pop-up to appear. So then you can remove your silences without having to go into the menu. Click on DaVinci Resolve top left-hand corner, come to keyboard customization. Within this little search box over on the right-hand side, just search for silence and you'll see clip, audio operations, ripple delete silence. It doesn't have anything by default. So I've gone with Alt and N because I've got that free. You may want to do Alt and S because that is a free option as well, but I've actually assigned that to great subtitles instead. Then you can save. So now whenever you want to do that same thing, once again, Alt, N, it pops straight up. It highlights my silences if there are any there and I can remove them and job done. Now this is a ripple delete by default, which means it closes those gaps, which is why it's so useful, but that does mean it will affect everything else on your timeline. So the last trick I wanna show you is just to make sure that that doesn't happen if it's not something you actually want to happen. So this is a basic example, but let's say I've got my clip here and I want to remove my silences, but I have also built some additional stuff on top or additional audio layers or whatever, and I don't want to have those affected. Because by default, if I open this up and then remove the silences, it's rippled everything. It's applied those same cuts to the clip above because it's a ripple delete. Now that may be handy, that may be what you want in some instances, but if you don't want that, all you need to do on the timeline, you'll see these little icons, it's disable, sync, lock. You need to just uncheck these for both the video and the audio. So mine's only got one video and one audio track, so I've disabled both of those. So now if I give it a click, Alt and N to open this up, we will remove our silences. It's only gonna do the cuts for these tracks and not the others. So then we can keep any B-roll or additional stuff intact and just remove our silences from the ones we wanted. And that is how you ripple delete the silence sections on your clips using this new version of DaVinci Resolve 20.2. It's in the free version, so everyone gets it. Hopefully you enjoy it. I think I'm gonna be using this one quite a lot just to speed up my initial workflow. Let me know, thoughts and feelings down below. Thanks for watching, take it easy. I'll see you next time.